I can already read your spicy comments right now. Trap Tendo. What is going on, peoples? Today, <laughs> we are checking out the Music Theory plugin suite called Captain Plugins, which allows you to do melody, chords, basses, and even drum lines automatically. So with that being said, leave a comment below. I definitely wanna hear from you guys. And if you are interested in this, well, I have a code for you. It's on the screen right now, or it might be this one. I don't know, mixing key kind of confused me with that email. With that being said, let's get started. So once you get Captain Plugins, it will come with a category of plugins for you to use. Uh, one for beats, like the drum lines and stuff like that. And then you have Captain Chorus, which does chord progressions. And then you have Captain Deep, which does bass. Captain Melody, which does a melody. And Captain Play, which allows you to play in whatever you want in key. So, you know, therefore, you already know what time it is. So. Let's start with Captain Chorus here because Captain Chorus is the most popular that everybody keeps on telling me to check out. And you know, it starts off looking like this right here as far as the UI, uh, you can pick out a key. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a F sharp minor and you can choose to randomize if you want. Uh, you have different scales too as well. I think the scales, they could add more scales. That's like my first suggestion. Uh, let's go. And here we are, we have Captain Chorus in the flesh here. And how do we get stuff in here? It's actually pretty simple, honestly. Uh, you can start by grabbing a progression and of any type here, it will be fit to its proper keys. So let's start with this right here. I'm gonna use this, boom. And now you can hear it in the flesh. So you can highlight different parts of this progression just by clicking on that particular part of the progression here. You can also choose from different chords depending on which one you're on right now. So, so I can start off with that right here and I can choose to do different things like inversions, uh, first inversion, second inversion, and I can do, uh, I can lower the octave too. So I can lower the octave to complexity I can add more chords here so I can get a little bit more jazzy. And I'm gonna start with that right there. So let's go. And yeah, you'll find that it's pretty cool. Uh, you also can adjust the timing. They have things like one measure. Uh, you can go to chakra, whatever you want. You have a, a huge list of things. And I'm actually impressed with that, seeing that I haven't dove in that hard. I've, I've owned this for forever. But now that I chose that, How's it sound? Hmm, so that's all right. You can choose from different rhythms too as well, but one thing that they have changed that I see is that you can record them in. I'm gonna go ahead and press the space bar. And you can. So for those people that are wondering, oh man, you know, or most of the people that I, I encounter say, well, the melodies don't sound very realistic. Well, you can play it in realistically and have your custom rhythm. And you also can change the spacing of the chords. Uh, you can change that uh, manually over here. So you can do smart legato, et cetera, et cetera here. You could do different percentages. Uh, and original, so. And then you also can strum, and strumming will look like this, of course. So if you wanna do like a guitar or something like that, uh, one thing you might have noticed is that these sounds don't sound very great. Well, don't trip, because one of the cooler things I think about Captain Chords or the Captain Plugins is that you can choose different sounds, so. I'm gonna choose Piano Trap because that is a little bit danky. And if I don't like this uh, melody that I came up with, I can always switch it. I can switch the key. I 
I can change the scale too. So that that's one thing that I think is really cool here. So what I'm gonna do here is look for something a little darker. So I'm gonna go with Phrygian. I like what I have. I could just grab, drag and drop into another sound here. I'm gonna go ahead and mute Captain Plugins and pull up a Electra. I don't have the best sound picked out, so don't trip on me. Hey. And yeah, <laughs> it's just that easy with Captain Plugins. It gets a whole lot easier than that. Trust me when I say this. I'm gonna go ahead and close out Captain Chorus. I'm gonna pull up Captain Beat, and then you'll see what Captain Beat is about, which is like drum lines and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and uh, try that out real quick. I'm gonna. So you have four on the floor here, <laughs> which is probably not gonna work for what I want. Let's go to Trap. Okay, so <laughs> now that I know that is a little bit too fast. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can adjust it in any way. So is there any way to adjust that rhythm that I got in here uh, or to bring it down or bring it up to double time? If you're gonna use this in FL Studio, uh, one thing I do wanna point out is that you wanna go right here to the top right part of the screen here or top right part of your patterns and set your pattern up for success when it loops or otherwise it will just play this right here, which will be like one bar. So I wanna point out is it does allow you to get plugins in two here, so you know you can just go in here and pick your favorite plugins. You got to scan uh, your plugins in, so just keep that in mind as well. So I just go to CZV over here from the Cheerio, and boom, let's hear that. You also can play stuff in. You can choose to play it either on your MIDI keyboard or on your computer keyboard too. You have Captain Deep here, and let's go to next. Let's see what it comes up with. It says start using Captain here. It says when the Captain window is open, it plays MIDI itself. Boom, and connect it to a plugin, of course. And then you have your your bass line. So with Captain Deep, you can choose different shapes, opposite movement. Uh, every offbeat, every half note, and you might be wanting something a little deeper than what you have in terms of your melody. Let's go ahead and combine Captain Chorus with Captain Deep. Well, it doesn't seem very natural when it comes to like making like a bass line if you was doing trap beats. So we're checking out Captain Play here. Now it says, do you want to play chorus or melody? So let's check out uh, melodies. Let's write a melody. Honest, I would probably use Captain Play like to play in like 808s and stuff like that if you struggle with like bass lines and stuff. So I did some changes to Captain Chords here. Captain Play has Sublab open. Let's see if we can do some basses that will work for it. Yeah, I think that might be a little better than Captain Deep. Then the other thing that you might notice is that it will record whatever you have in here. So if you have to do a pre-count so it can record properly, then you could do that and then you could drag this into your DAW just like anything else, boom. So tell me how you feel in the comment section because I have something to say to you guys in a little bit. So my pros for this is that there's a lot of improvements. At first, I wasn't into Captain Plugins at all when I first bought it because you couldn't edit certain things and it was kind of hard to work, difficult to understand, and they made it a little clear, and they have improved it, added more sounds, added more features, and now it is a little more complete than what it used to be. Uh, one of my early cons for this would probably be, it would be dope if you can dice roll something, and, and then you'll have like a dope melody, or it be based on some type of scale or the key, and you can just randomize it, and and it will go through all of its different features that it has because it has a ton of features and that will be 
fantastic. It sounds like I'm describing something that already exists, doesn't it, guys? Definitely, I think that Captain Play is really good for creating your 808 lines if you struggle with that. And also that Captain Chords feels a little better to use. It doesn't feel as clunky as it was when I first started using it. And that is great that Mixed in Key has improved that aspect. Now, one thing I do want to say, because I know guys are going to be in the comment section saying, well, you know, you need to learn music theory and all this other stuff. You have the music theory elitists out there. And I'm not specifically speaking to musicians as I play multiple instruments. And I would like to speak for those guys. A tool like this is obviously good for creating stuff when you have beat block or whatever, writer's block or whatever you like to call it. And on top of that, it only gets better because you still have to learn what those scales mean and, and which scale works for whatever style of music that you're doing and what different chord progressions and fancy chords you would combine. Though I find that the beginner will have a field day with that because they will create something a little different than somebody like me that's been around for forever because I am old. Now in between you have the music theory elitist, the person that is upset because one person uses a tool such as this. And then you have somebody that is above average that plays multiple instruments or plays a piano well or whatever instrument very well that will quite enjoy it because they have all the answers to go along with that tool. The person in the middle, you're losing out the most because you are skeptical about that and the beginner is gonna sound much better than you musically, sonically, everything wise. So yeah, do I, do I give, give this, this the stamp of, of approval? approval. I would like to say 90% yes.